In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add an image to your WordPress sidebar using the new image widget that shipped with WordPress 4.8. I'm also going to show you the manual way to do it if you don't have the new WordPress 4.8. And we're getting started right now. What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you're new here, click subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, let's head in the screen capture and start adding these images to our sidebar using that new WordPress image widget. I'll see you there. So to get this started, we log into our WordPress admin, go to appearance and then widgets. And then we scroll down the side here until we find the image widget and we drag it and drop it up into the sidebar area. Click on the add image button. Now we can pick an image from our media library we can upload an image, or we can insert an image from a URL. I'm going to choose one from the media library. I'm going to put uh, Rocket from the Gardens of the Galaxy. Click on Add to Widget. And now it's in here. You can add a title to it if you want. Maybe this is Rocket and Groot. You can also edit the image by clicking the Edit Image button. And this brings up the WordPress image editor. Change the display size here. You can add a link here. And of course, caption and alternate text, which I skipped over at the top. There's some advanced options. Add a title attribute, a class, so you can easily style it with CSS. Open link in a new tab. Then you add a link relationship to the link, like a do not follow if you want to. A new CSS class for just the link. Then you can click on edit original to actually edit the image itself. Inside the WordPress editor, you can do things like rotate and crop, just basic things like that. You can't really change the appearance of the image. You can't stylize the image, you can't make it grayscale, but you can change the size and orientation. So if the image is how you like it, all we do is click on save here, and then we can head out to the site and find a blog post with the sidebar and it'll have that image. Turns out our homepage has that image. So here we have it in the sidebar. Now we can do this as well in the older version of WordPress. So if you, if you, so if you haven't updated to WordPress 4.8 yet, which you should, because it also patches some security vulnerabilities, you have a message like this at the top of your site. If you're not updated, you can click on update now to quickly update it. This is an older site that I haven't updated yet, but I will after this video. But I'm using this to show you the old way to add images. So we go to appearance and widgets. So just in case you don't want to update for whatever reason, you can still use the old way. Find the text widget. Add that in there. I'm going to put the same title in there. Let's paste that in. Now we have to do some HTML to add an image. And I'm actually just gonna grab the URL of this image right here by heading over to the media library. I'm gonna click on the image. I'm gonna copy this URL here, which is the URL to the image. And of course, you don't wanna copy these URLs from websites where you don't have the permission to do that. That's not a very nice thing. It's called image hot linking. It's not cool. So you wanna make sure that this URL is either from Flickr and you give it attributes or it's from some source where you know you're allowed to take the image. Or if it's a royalty-free image, you download it from their site, you upload it to your site and use it like that. And now we have this image in the sidebar. Let's see if we can find a post with a sidebar. Hopefully this one, oops, click on view. See what that looks like. Now we have these guys in the sidebar here. So this is using the old text widget. And over here, we're using the dedicated image widget. They both look about the same, it's just the image widget is a lot easier doesn't require you to do any kind of HTML coding whatsoever. So that's how easy it is now to add images with the new WordPress. I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below the video. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it. I will see you in the next video.